Spark Books here. Today, I'm going to explain the book, Five Stars, by Carmen Gallo. Take care, enjoy the book, and have a nice day. Five Stars, 2018, provides a practical guide to improving your communication skills. Drawing on examples from both scientific research and great communicators throughout history, these sparks explore how you can get people to listen to, understand and support your ideas by communicating them in the best possible way. Key idea number one, focus on a single, tangible, time-bound aim when communicating. Neil Armstrong's 1969 moon landing ended an epic journey of brain power, hard effort, and scientific discovery. Effective communication underpinning the project. Don't be scared to transform your overarching ideals into concrete targets and timetables. John F. Kennedy's exceptional communication skills inspired thousands of NASA employees in the 1960s to make space travel a reality. Kennedy motivated the entire country to support the moon expedition, not just NASA workers. To understand how Kennedy's speeches influenced so many Americans, we must examine his persuasive tactics. Kennedy usually focused on one goal in his NASA talks. Why? Because he knew it's easier to rally a team around one goal than to set several ones. In 1958, NASA had numerous goals. They desired world-leading space technology, scientific growth, and space dominance. Kennedy focused on getting a man to the moon and back safely. Don't make your goals too vague if you want support. If you want powerful outcomes, focus on one aim. Kennedy leveraged communication to turn NASA's broad goal into a measurable one. He took something abstract, NASA's ultimate ambition to enhance scientific progress by exploring the solar system, and made it more tangible for his listeners. Kennedy told Congress in 1961 that the U.S. should arrive on the moon before the end of the decade. Don't be scared to transform your overarching ideals into concrete targets and timetables. Key idea number two, impress recruiters with personal anecdotes. Software developer Haseeb Qureshi is in demand in Silicon Valley. He had only one year of coding experience, was older than other applicants, and had no computer science degree. On paper, he had little chance of landing a fantastic job, so how did Google, Airbnb, Yelp, and Uber hire him? All, thanks to his amazing interview abilities. Tell interviewers a fascinating tale about yourself like Qureshi did to land his dream job. Qureshi knew that interview success isn't all about technical skills. To stand out, communicate technical talents through storytelling. Think of yourself as a character in your own life story to wow interviewers. Start, middle, and end your story. Include your activities reasons and inflection points. Qureshi didn't give a dry, technical answer when questioned about fixing a computer fault. Instead, he presented a story about a hero on a voyage of discovery, in which Qureshi confronted a difficulty and improved himself. You must practice these stories to be convincing. Consider how to answer questions using storytelling. You may record yourself telling friends these story-based replies. Check your communication abilities by asking your practice audience for feedback. Qureshi did this, and it worked so well that he joined Airbnb with a $250,000 beginning salary. Great communication pays off. Key idea number three, brief, visual presentations are engaging. NASA's leaders want to learn from space and enhance life on Earth. NASA requires public support for its space program to succeed. Without money, they'll have to close. Research shows that people remember about 10% of vocally conveyed information. If you add one picture to spoken content, the audience will recall 65% of it. Consider using photographs or illustrations to help people remember your outstanding ideas. NASA has a new aim to inspire the public to desire to explore space. We should all endeavor to mimic NASA's superb presentation skills. NASA's rule for presenting is to be brief, you should too. NASA held a press briefing after the 2017 finding of numerous Earth-sized planets not too far away. They kept the news conference to 18 minutes. Why? When people absorb a torrent of information at once, they typically develop a cognitive backlog, meaning they can't digest everything. NASA finds 18 minutes to be the optimal amount before a press briefing becomes dull. Try reducing your presentations to 15 to 20 minutes to make them more engaging. If you desire NASA-level communication skills, add some visuals to that short presentation. NASA's website offers free photographs and films on space exploration. NASA believes that visual imagery is important to successful communication. Research shows that people remember about 10% of vocally conveyed information. If you add one picture to spoken content, the audience will recall 65% of it. Consider using photographs or illustrations to help people remember your outstanding ideas. Key idea number four, outstanding teams have great communication. Thousands apply to Google every year, but only the finest are hired. 
what are Google's elite teams like if the workforce is already elite? Communicate the team's goals and a clear plan for achieving them. Finally, tell each person how their role benefits the organization. Google answered this question in 2012. They wanted researchers to figure out the practices of the company's most effective team so they might build better ones in the future. The researchers' findings disproved their hypotheses. Who was on a team didn't matter. How well Google's teams communicated made all the difference. Successful teams share three features, according to studies. First, effective teams display psychological safety. Everyone on the team feels free to take risks, confident in speaking out, and comfortable expressing vulnerability in front of coworkers. The best teams are clear. Every team member has distinct duties and goals. Successful teams have influence. Members know their work counts and how it contributes to the organization's goals. If you want to use communication to establish a crack team, include an emotional element in team building exercises. Share personal tales with your colleagues, even if it makes you feel vulnerable. This will encourage others to do so, increasing workplace safety. Communicate the team's goals and a clear plan for achieving them. Finally, tell each person how their role benefits the organization. Key idea number five, pathos in your origins narrative will inspire others. Nike's founding tale is one of the best known in industry. Bill Bowerman, an athletics coach at the University of Oregon, noticed his runner's training shoes didn't grip the new polyurethane track. Bill tried to design a new running shoe with better traction, using a waffle iron as a mold. This Genesis tale is one of Nike's most powerful assets, acting as a metaphor for the brand's pioneering spirit. Why does this story matter? Pathos rules. Pathos is persuading an audience emotionally. Nike's founding tale is really moving. Senior executives often tell the story of Nike's co-founders selling shoes out of the back of their car and experimenting with a waffle iron. This storyline covers the tragic death of one of Bowerman's most famous athletes, Steve Prefontaine. By highlighting its historic past, the organization inspires present employees. New employees are taken on an introductory excursion to see Bill's original jogging track and Prefontaine's crash site. People are hardwired to want to hear about difficulty, whether it's yours or your brand's. We're drawn to rags to riches stories like Nike's humble beginnings. And we need these stories, too. Psychologists say difficulty is an essential part of the human experience because our brains build meaning from hardship. Because we perceive adversity as a natural part of life, stories of victory over suffering or success despite tragedy resonate with us. Neurological research reveals we remember stories with difficulty better. If you want people to cheer for you or your brand, tell your adversity tale. Key idea number six, best communicators utilize brief words as possible. Hemingway is a prominent 20th century author. Several of his works are regarded literary classics. How did he write so well? Simple. Hemingway utilized basic language that even a fifth grader could comprehend, despite being a literary genius. Insight, if you want to be a great communicator, realize that lengthier words are usually more confusing. Leaders, entrepreneurs, and teachers should always consider the grade level of their sentences and words. The average American understands text written at a 10th grade level or lower, according to research. Lowering the grade level of your communications may really improve their quality. As writing grade levels rise, content clarity may decrease, making it harder to understand. Higher grade level doesn't always mean better writing. Consider Winston Churchill's communication talents if you're still not convinced. He was known for using shorter terms in his lectures, noting shorter words are frequently the oldest. If you want your idea to capture people's attention, consider the grade level at which you're communicating it. Readability index can help. This algorithm is used by US textbook publishers to determine if a textbook's material can be easily understood by its target grade audience. Individuals can use this index by submitting their work to internet programs like Hemingway, named after the simple language advocate. Storytelling is the key to effective communication. Adding suffering makes these stories more interesting. Keep presentations short, include images for maximum effect, and make content basic and understandable. To view more content like this, subscribe. Don't forget to like and turn on notifications. The channel really benefits from it. I appreciate you being here.